Hello. Um, the thingy here broke. So as you can see, if you were watching this video, I used the red green solution or M Melissa said MacGyver. And MacGyver is very manly where he was, um, I think. Red Green is a comedian, and um, he's he's manly, kind of, but I don't know. Comedians are not, there's something about comedians that are, it's not that they're, like, not manly, or the opposite of manly, but... Comedians or Canadians? Co comedians. Canadians do, except for the lumberjacks. <laughs> no. But, but you know what I mean, like, you can be a man, you can be like, no one questions you're a man, but you're a comedian, and, but you're not like, man-man, you know what I mean? Yes, sort of. Like, you're, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger is more of a man than Jim Carrey, <laughs> but that okay. being said, Jim Carrey is definitely a straight white man, you know what I mean? I but, do, I do know what you mean. <laughs> surprised if Jim Carrey or, well he has a daughter but yeah whatever it's a very complex issue and I should not be talking about it since I know nothing about it and since you're like on able to be seen by everybody no one's gonna watch this oh. <laughs> I sometimes think like you know on like Conan O'Brien or David Letterman they say like, oh, here's a, your dad recorded your high school drama project. Let's take a look at that. Yeah. Um, and if like 20 years from now, I'm really, I'm too old to be famous, to, to ever get famous, I think. I don't think that's true at all. Well, I mean, there's some exceptions, but um, yeah. So, like, theoretically, if I did get famous and get on some talk show, and they play like, oh, here's one of your, I may be in for a thousand, but obviously that once I get to a thousand, I'll keep going. So, <laughs> so like, here's one of the thousand YouTube videos, and it just has me, has me saying something stupid. Yes. Basically, you're so tired, you're, you, you do, like, you're smoking a cigarette, 
you say to yourself, after the cigarette, I'm going to bed, like straight to bed and then straight to sleep. Yes. And you put out your cigarette in the ashtray and you're really tired so you don't like fully put it out. You just like, you know, you, 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 you know what I mean. You just like butt it out but there's still the cherry burning. Yeah. And then you go to bed to fall asleep and you're like, shit. If I did that wrong, I will literally die Burn in a fire. Burn down yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you go to sleep thinking, um, okay, I gotta weigh the odds. How much do I not want to die in a fire? Versus, versus how much do I want to be asleep and also <laughs> not give in to my paranoid delusions? <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> like a pleasant sounding transition but it's just so easy <laughs> okay, cool. so I'm saying I should stop doing it and try to do something more difficult <laughs>
for you to I completely forgot that that made you this and I wouldn't have been able to do this in the walkthrough. That actually sounds really good. Did you hear that? Yeah. like half my videos I was talking about how I don't want to be a bassist and I probably offended all the bassists who yes. were watching yes and now I'm gonna start talking about how how I hate power chords I'm probably being really stereotypical yes sometimes how quickly I get through this. Or, well, you said the cogentin messes up your sense of time. Yeah. Well, it, said, it says that. I don't know how. Yeah. Well, I've had a weird sense of time since before the cogentin. Like, basically being on disability messes up your sense of time. Yeah, that makes sense. Remember when we were in the car with your father on the way to the cottage and we were talking about how um, we'd been going out for like, I, I don't know how long it had been then, like five years or something. However long it had been, yeah. And I, I, I mentioned that like, mm. I think I said I was like 28 um, and how like, there's entire years that I don't remember happening. Yeah. So now everyone will know you have a deep, dark secret. Yeah. 
that's fine with me as long as I don't know what it is. And I don't, I just don't want it to be publicly available. No, Please take out that part too. <laughs> making noise because it's processing the video.
those types are in the Toronto Bar Park. Yes, it is true. Thank you very much. I love you. Oh, you got me the special kind too. Yes. Oh, thank you. It's because I love you. cigarettes. Okay. So um, when I was in my episode uh, translation to the camera when I was actively insane, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> uh, I, uh, I bought, I, I was trying to buy one pack at a time, but um, kept running out as you were chain smoking all day. Yeah, and <laughs> my parents were like subtly suggesting I buy more and more. Anyways, my mom like specifically told me to go buy three packs of cigarettes. Um, uh, for the audience, I buy cartons, so three packs is still less than what I normally buy. Um, so I went out and bought three packs and it was the first time I had seen the cigarettes with, you know how they have like the sniper hole in the filter? No, I haven't. Mine don't. Your, yours I don't. know what you mean, but mine don't. Well, you don't have De Maurier, right? Right. Yeah. No, but the De Maurier, like, they had just introduced the, like, sniper filter. I don't, what, what is that for, anyway? It's a marketing thing. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. And I think they had, I'm not, do you remember when they added the stamps? No, it was a while ago. It was, not, was, it, it was the, not within the past year. Oh, uh, okay, anyways. So, they have this stamp, and it's like, it's as if it's like, a duty. it says Duty Paid Canada, and it's like, it's basically... It gives the implication that it was shipped from like an exotic country. Yes. And um AKA the United States. Well my mom no, was Demarius are Canadian. Yeah, no, but well my my mom was watching a lot of like like highly aristocratic British television. Okay. And my mom's always been into the Queen. And my mom I'm sorry mom, but this is a, like a really old delusion that, that she had. I, I, I hope she'll forgive me for saying it. That she, she used to think we were related to the royal family. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, so I, I had that, I've had that delusion a few times just like passively. I haven't spoken it out loud when I have it, but um, just based on, like, it's a hereditary delusion. <laughs> <laughs> and so, she told me at a very specific time to go buy cigarettes, and I bought these cigarettes, and they were, like, extra fancy. And 
she put on this aristocratic British television show, and I smoked a cigarette, and it was as if, like... It made I, you British? I, no, like, <laughs> I, like, I was some kind of, like, prince, smoky, like, the exotic, like, <laughs> The, the Queen's cigarettes. I'm sorry for laughing at you, but it is funny. <laughs> Very good. No, you're supposed to laugh, it is funny. Okay, <laughs> But I forget where I was. I do not know. So that's the kind of story my dad would tell me to shut up about. <laughs> yeah. But you, it was okay I told you? Yeah. I'm getting pretty good at that. Very good.
I wore at Occupy. I did not remember that. Oh, yes, I do, I guess. Yeah, the reason why it, 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 it's got the uh, stomach pocket, yes. like the pocket where my stomach is. Yeah. Um, and since we were basically sleeping outside in public where, you know, there's very little protection from anything. Yeah. Aside from the fact that police and jails exist. Yes. <laughs> Um, I was keeping all my valuables in that pocket, and so I thought I'd, I basically wore this sweater all the time. <laughs> Very good. First of all, what I'm doing took a lot of effort, and second of all, I am a long way from <laughs> it being where it's supposed to be. Oh. And I, I've only been playing for a month. I have to keep reminding myself that, but <laughs> it's a, uh, it's kind of amazing how much, um, how much it takes. This game is so cool. I love you. I love you too. What, how, how do you play the game? You have to get to the exit door, but the rooms move and then there are things inside the room that can sometimes, like, do... So it's like a tile shifter thing? Sort Par partial, of. Partially? Partially, yeah. Thank you. 
What is muting that string? Oh. Did not do that, no. Does that sound like a note that's human? Or human? <laughs> what I mean is like, does that sound like a note that would be used in a song? Um, not really. But I'm not a great judge of things like that. I'm just not sure if I did that right. Oh, I don't know. Something I taught myself and no one had to tell me. Um, can you look for a sec? I was muting like this and this and this. Mm -hmm. And I was having a lot of trouble because where the joint is. Oh, yeah. When you put it there, it doesn't press down on the first string. Mm -hmm. So something that I figured out without anyone directly telling me is to go like that. I mean, it's common sense. But no, but this is good that you that you could think. That's all I can do. <laughs> and how do I know my friend wasn't just giving me these? I don't know. I think there's a lot of chords. I, I think there's a lot of chords that are, I mean, they can't be intentionally designed to be difficult or like fuck with you, but. But they, you know, you could, they, they could be, you know. <laughs> against ukuleles. <laughs> That's really funny. You're a ukulelesist? Yes. Actually, right now, I'm probably prejudiced against any musical instrument that isn't the guitar. Oh, that's fine. Um, and there's probably some kind of psychology behind that. <laughs> I think it's called liking the instrument you're currently playing. No, but I mean like suppressing the urge, suppressing the urge to even appreciate other instruments uh, in order to increase the desire, the, you know, 
the, the want to learn this one. Okay. The, I don't know if I Englished right, <laughs> but um, can, if you translate my bad English, does that make sense? No. Yes, it does. <laughs> I, I, I was just being a jerk. <laughs> way too much distortion on this video. Distortion, distortion is one of the knobs on my amp. Yeah. Um, and then someone else commented, uh, you can never have too much distortion. Yes. And I think, I, I don't know, I, I think I was leaning on the side of like distortion is better because the type of music I listen to has distortion, I think. Okay. Like, I, I, I don't know if the type of music I listen to has distortion, but I think it does. Um, but it means like when I'm... Um, so, so anyways, I had my distortion all the way down and I turned it up. Um, so for the past like week of videos, at least a week of videos, it's, it's with distortion. Mm -hmm. And so if you listen to this, um, I made three chord changes mm -hmm. and um, I think without distortion you would hear the difference in the sound right away, but with the distortion it's all I, I don't know. I think distortion has sustain. It's called sustain, right? Um, Do you know what, what sustain is? I don't think so. Sus you know on like a piano, um, those foot rests at the bottom? Where if oh, okay, yeah, and that makes it sound longer, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, uh, I think the distortion is creating sustain, which means when I go from a similar, like, I, 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 I usually start off going through, uh, three or four basic E's that are all in the same area and sound similar. Okay. So with the distortion, um, it creates, I think, sustain, which means it's harder to differentiate. Like, I'll know with my fingers, and the, the fi I'll know that I'm playing a different note, but the sound produced by the guitar is the same until like three seconds later. Okay. I don't know if I'm completely following. Um, so, watch my fingers. So, I'm pressing down on those two, mm -hmm. and then I'll press down on this, mm -hmm. but the sound that the guitar is making... It's still from when you weren't pressing your fingers down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In, until a few seconds later. Okay. And cool. I, I think that is an effect of distortion. Could be. Uh, anyways. That was way too much boring talking for this video, even though I, I have no idea. I know there are some people who watch this, and I have no idea what motivates them to. <laughs> 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 and thank you for watching, and I am filming it for you, the viewer, like, <laughs> and, and myself, of course. But, but what if I'm the viewer? <clears throat> yes. 
I have these terrible nightmares about um, being 65 years old and watching videos from when I was 25 to 30 and just like crying, <laughs> crying that I'm not that person anymore, that I'm like this bedridden, <laughs> senile old man. <laughs> special endings my flies upright okay <laughs>